So here I am in at uh, Fiona Stanley Hospital um, on my birthday of all days. So we've done my bloods. So I don't know if you can see, but we've, we've done my bloods. We're now trying to work out um, when I'm going to do my ultrasound. And I can see my doctor's just walked in. So I'm going to have a word to her. I'll get back to you soon. Hi, so the doctor has spoken with me. Um, what we've arranged is at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is Wednesday, I'm going to arrive at radiology. I'll go straight into radiology. So I am the absolute first patient on the list and um, and they will tap me at that point and then I'll go off to one of the wards because um, the drain itself takes five, five, sometimes even six hours. Um, so they'll send me off to a ward to do that. So today is a day that I need to endure and um, I've got some words around the word endure, but I'll, uh, I'll do those when I get home. So as you can see, I'm back home now and I've got chassis 19 behind me. And um, I alluded to the word endure when I was at hospital. And it's, it's a very pertinent word today because um, this morning I published the Cathartic Files episode two. And in that episode, I talk about one, well, several words, but one particular Latin word, which is jurus. And jurus means tough or hard. And it, it's where we get the words in English durable, durability, endure. Um, if you're into your dirt bike, motorbike racing, you've probably heard of an enduro. Um, if, you've, if you've ever had a, um, an epidural, then um, epidural is also related, is, defined, is derived from the word jurus, uh, meaning tough and hard. And it's a, it's a pertinent word today because today is a day that I need to endure. Um, I, my belly is extremely distended. I, um, well, people often ask, does it hurt? And I say to them, it only hurts if you move. If you lie perfectly still on your back and you don't move, it doesn't hurt. But you do need to move. And a life lived without movement is no life anyway. So does it hurt? Yeah, if you move. So um, today is a day that I'm enduring, and I wanted I wanted to ex express to you or use this as an example to show you why I love etymology, because the word endure in, in English just means to endure. We know what that word means; it means to to carry on and put up with it. But when you analyse it in Latin, "en" the "en" part at the start means "in," and uh, "jure" it comes from the the Latin word "jurus," meaning hard and tough. So the word endure actually means look at the toughness within you and use that to carry on. And I find that that then takes it from simply being a word to being poetry. And today I need to dig deep and go for the toughness within me uh, to get through it because it is hard, it is tough, it is hurting. Um, and it's not easy so today I will endure so um, yeah stick with me obviously do click the care button and um, and if you're interested in etymology head over to my um, sub stack uh, because t today I talk about the word jurus in, in Latin and how it means um, tough or hard and um, and and, uh, and hopefully you can see that when you, when you get down to the derivations of words, instead of just being a word, they start to become poetry because you start to see the meaning behind them. Instead of hearing the word endure, you start to hear, seek for the toughness within you. <sighs> okay, um, I'm gonna go now. It, it's, I need, to, well, I need to get on with my day, but I think getting on with my day basically means I need to lie down and stay there. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. So um, thank you for caring for me. Um, I also want to acknowledge the hundreds, if not thousands of you that are in the same situation as me. I know you're there because you're right to me. And um, well, so I have a public platform that I can, that I can speak to you uh, and, and receive your care. I know plenty of you don't have a pl public platform that you can do the same. And 
I do want you to know that I care about you and I recognise that your journey is hard too. So we're in it together. Talk to you soon. See ya.